Hello, in this video we're going to translate a verbal statement to symbolic form and we will be using quantifiers such as for all that exist and predicate. But we will start with uh, something that is a little bit troublesome, the word only in a sentence. So here the word only can be tricky. n of x, y, meaning x loves y. And the predicate b of x means x is b. And the uh, predicate a of x will be x is a. So when we say a loves only b, meaning if A loves anything, then that thing is B. We're going to translate it as for all X, if it is A of X, then for any Y, then L of X, Y, X loves Y implies only B. That thing is B, B of Y. So the second sentence we have when we ha we have only at the beginning only a loves b. How would we uh, translate that verbally? We could say if anything loves b, then it is a. And symbolically, we will say that for anything x for all x b of x implies l of y x implies a of y then if anything loves b if it is b for any uh, which is x if anything loves b y loves it then it must be a and the other one will be a only loves b meaning if a does anything to b then it is love in different way uh, so, you could translate this as, for all x, a of x implies, for all y, implies l of x, y. Now, we're going to see different examples here, and we're going to go back to this. So, this is the most troublesome. Let's see another example here. Using the predicate symbols shown and appropriate quantifiers, let's write uh, this English uh, language statement as a predicate well-formed formula, where the domain is the whole world. So if I have the sentence, all men are tall, I could say that if there is anything in the world, and it's man implies it's tall. So meaning for all x's, so if m of x, if that x is a man, then it must be tall. And the next example will be some women are tall. So there is some, meaning there exists some x. And if you remember correctly, we said almost always there exists goes with an end. Some women are tall. So if there is something X and it is a woman, then it must be tall. How would you translate all men are tall, but no woman is tall? All men are tall, but it's an end. No woman is tall. So if there is anything, and if that thing is a man, then it is tall. And, but... If there is anything and it's no woman is tall, and if it is a woman, then it must be not tall. And that's how we translate this sentence. Only women are tall. Then now back to this only women are tall. So only, I could state, state it differently. I could say if tall, then it is 
it isn't uh, uh, it is a woman so I could translate it to if tall then it must be a woman and ver uh, symbolically will be for all X if it is tall then it must be a woman WX Next example, I have no man is tall. Well, in English, I could say, if it is a man, then it's not tall. And I would translate this to, for all x, if it is a man, if x is m, m of x implies not tall, t of x not. Another example we have, if every man is tall, then every woman is tall. So for all x, if it is a man, then it is tall. This implies that, if anything, it is a woman, then it is also tall. And we have a next example here, some woman is not tall. So again, some, meaning there exists something. And remember, there exists goes with an end. If it is a woman, or not if, but some woman is not tall, there exists X, there is a woman, and it's not tall, and not T. And one more we have, if no man is tall, then some woman is not tall. So again, right here, I have an implication. If no man is tall, if it is anything, all X, if that thing is a man, then it's not tall. This implies there exists X, there exists some women, there exists something that is a woman, and not tall. And this is how we translate this English statement to symbolic form. So the next thing we're going to cover is negation of statement. For example, for all x, a of x. It can be everything is fun. So how do you negate everything is fun? So the negation in plain English can be it is false that everything is fun. Or we could say something is not fun. Or you could say something is boring. In symbolic form, for all becomes some, something is not fun, which is a of x not. So similarly, the negation of something is fun, it will be everything is not fun. So hence, there exists a of x, negate that, would be equivalent to for all x, a of x not. Let's see examples here. What is the negation of everybody loves somebody sometimes? So everybody, meaning it must be somebody, so either B or D, but loves, it's hate. Somebody, everybody, the opposite, and somebody, sometimes is all the time, so the answer should be D. Let's see more examples of negation. What is a negation of the following statement? Some pictures are all are faded. So some pictures, I would say every picture is neither old nor faded. All people are tall and thin. To, uh, negate that will be some people are short or fat. Some students eat only pizza. So to translate this, I could say, every student eats something that is not pizza. Only students eat pizza. I could translate that to, there is a non-student who eat pizza. So here I have a multiple choice. 
the statement, some people like mathematics, what would be the negation? Some people. So we should be everybody. But likes, I should say dislike. Mathematics, so the answer would be two. Everybody or everyone loves ice cream. That means neg uh, for all must be there exists. Everyone, someone loves, doesn't love ice cream. So it should be three. And so he, this is how we uh, negate some statement. I hope this video is helpful.